Hi guys, so welcome ulit sa ating YouTube channel. Ito na yung lesson 33 sa ating college algebra. Ito na yung mathematical induction. So sorry, medyo nandiyan pa. Medyo madami siya tignan kasi nandiyan yung ibang uh, solution natin sa last video natin. Okay, so steps on proving mathematical induction. So again, ito ay proving. So one way para maintindihan nyo yung mat is maturo ang okay ng proving. So kung tatanong yung sir, kasama to. Yes, kasama to dun sa algebra na so sa college algebra book na sinusundan ko. So kasama siya. So after binomial theorem, ituro ko si mathematical induction. Although hindi naman ganun kahirap ituro ko. So basic, basic mathematical induction lang yung gagawin natin dito. Hindi ko pa sasamahan ng iba-iba. Okay, so ito yung steps on proving mathematical induction. Okay, so step 1, let n is equal to 1, 2, and 3. So this is what we call the verification stage. So step 1 is the verification stage. So i-verify natin siya for n is equal to 1, for n is equal to 2, and for n is equal to 3. Pero hindi yan lagi. So may cases kasi na for n mag-start ka sa 3. So, kunwari sabi niya, for n is greater than or equal to 3, meaning mag-start ka sa 3, 4, 5. So, depende yan sa cases. So, ito, fix kasi na 1, 2, 3. Next, step 2, let n is equal to k, then assume natin na siya yung induction hypothesis natin. So, para lang siyang assumption. So, siya ay true, nagagamitin natin siya somewhere, pagating kay proof of induction. So, sa proof of induction, i-verify natin kung true siya for n is equal to k plus 1. So, pag nangyari yun, then, ang gagawin na ito, yung proof of induction, gagamitin natin si step 2. So, hindi pwedeng hindi gamitin, gamitin si step 2. So, ito yung tuturo ni mathematical induction. Okay? So, let's try to prove. Okay, so prove by mathematical induction that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus that 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 plus n is equal to n plus n times n plus 1 over 2. So, yung sum down ng mga natural number, so, basta counting number, is just equal sa n times n plus 1 plus 2. Kunyari, gusto ko yung sum ng 7 per 7 numbers or per 7 counting numbers. So, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7. Ama? So, anong gagawin ko lang? 7 times 7 plus 1. So, 7 plus 1 is 8. So, 7 times 8, 56 divided by 2, 28. So, try natin i-add. So, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 that is 28. Okay. So, napaka-useful nung formula na yan. Ngayon, ang gusto natin is isprove natin siya using mathematical induction. So, ito yung step 1. So, lagyan ko dito yung proof. So, don't forget na ilagay ito. Since gagawin nyo rin ito as BS Math. So, this is the proof. So, step 1. Okay, step 1. Una, let Latin na si n is equal to 1. So, ang ibig sabihin ng n is equal to 1 Meaning, yung n natin dito, papaita natin ng 1. Pagdating dito sa left side, ang ibig sabihin ng n is equal to 1, 1 term lang. Okay, so ibig sabihin, ito ay 1 is equal to 1 times 1 plus 1 all over 2. So again, sir, bakit isa lang po dito? Bakit 1 lang? Kasi 1 term lang. So pag 2, that is 1 plus 2. Pag, pag 3, 1 plus 2 plus 3. Pag 4, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Ngayon yung mangyayari. Okay, since 1 lang, yun ang gagawin natin. So therefore, this is equivalent sa 1. Then, 1 times 1 plus 1, that is 2. 2 times 2, 2 divided by 2, sorry, that is 1. So, this is check. Okay, next is, for n, so, dito na lang, let n is equal to 2. So, ito yung sinasabi niya, sir, 1 plus 2 is equal, sa so gagawin ko na itong 2, then 2 plus 1, all over 2. So, obviously, cancel lang yung 2 dun. So, this is 3 is equal to 3. Kasi 3 times 3, 3, 2 times 3 is 6 divided by 2, 3. So, check tayo dyan. Next, let n is equal to 3. So, that is 1 plus 2 plus 3. Then, sa right side nya is 3. So, 3 times 3 plus 1 over 2. So, obviously, ito ay 1 plus 2 plus 3, that is 6. Then, sa right side nya, that is 3 times 4, 12 divided by 2, 6. Okay, so true siya for verification or for step 1. Okay, so let's proceed sa step 2. Step 2. So, ilet lang natin na si n is equal to k. Uh, let n is equal to k. So, ang mangyari, papaita natin lahat yan. This is just 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus plus k is equal to k times k plus 1 all over 2. Okay, then ibabox na sir. 
So, para mamaya makita nyo na ito ay gagamitin ko. So, ang sabi ko nga, yung, mat, yung induction hypothesis is somewhere gagamitin natin sa step 3. Sa let n is equal to k plus 1. So, step 3 is the proof of induction. Okay, so let n is equal to k plus 1. Okay, so ang ibig sabihin nito kung if let n is equal to k, ang yari, that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to k, then k plus 1, k times k plus 1, all over 2. Okay, so ang mangyari dito, this is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus k muna, hindi k plus 1. Okay, then plus k plus 1. Ayun yung ibig sabihin ng let n is equal to k plus 1. Hindi lang basta k plus 1 i-add ko, kasama pa rin yung k. Ibig sabihin kasi na induction, nagdagdag ka ng isang term, which is k plus 1 term. Okay, then sa kabila, as ipapalitan natin yung n. So, n is k plus 1. Okay, then yung isa is k plus 1 plus 1 all over 2. Okay, so ano yung k plus 1 plus 1 na yan? That is equivalent sa k plus 2 lang, no? So, ito ay k plus 2. So, ang goal natin ngayon, ano yung goal natin? Uh, pipili ka. It's either from right or from left. Ang gagawin natin, ipoprove natin na, kunyari, yung left side yung tinake ko, dapat itong left side, left side equivalent sa k plus 1 over k plus, k plus 1 times k plus 2 all over 2. So, ang gagawin sir, ko consider ko yung left side. Okay, so consider, lagay ko na dito, consider, Consider si 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus k plus k plus 1. Okay, yan yung kinonsider natin. So, again, wala pa akong na-consider na left side dyan. Okay, so, anong gagawin natin? From induction hypothesis, kung napansin nyo, so, ang gagawin ko, i-regroup ko muna. This is equivalent sa 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus k, then plus k plus 1. Okay, so ang sabi ko nga, sa induction, sa proof of induction, gagamitin sa induction hypothesis. Ngayon, ano na papansin nyo? Ginroup ko yung 1 plus 3 plus 2, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus k, tapos times plus k plus 1. Kung napansin nyo, kay induction hypothesis, si 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus k is equivalent kay k times k plus 1 over 2. Okay, so meaning by induction hypothesis, papalit lang ko lang to. This is simply equivalent lang sa k time k times k plus 1 all over 2 plus k plus 1. Tama. The next, is simplify natin further yan. So, cross multiply. This is k times k plus 1 plus 2 times k plus 1 all over 2. Okay, so kung napansin nyo may common term sila, ano yung common term nila? Ang common term nila is k plus 1. So, ipapactor out ko yung k plus 1 yan. Okay, then may matitirang k dito sa isa. Then may matitira pang plus 2 sa isa. All over 2. In which, ayun siya. So, anong nangyari? From left side, naging right side using si induction hypothesis. So, therefore, this is done. So, this is the symbol for done. This is done symbol. So, don't forget na ilagay yan. Okay. Okay, so let's have example number 2. So, again, may clear lang itong video na to kasi nga uh, all about mathematical induction tapos hindi ko naman masyadong dapat pahirapan. Okay, so prove by mathematical induction that the summation of i squared from i is equal to 1 up to n is equal to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. Okay, so kung napansin mo, sir, naka-summation notation na. Hindi na po siya naka- uh, summoned, or I think yung parang 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus something, yung ganun yung naka-expand, rather. So, compact form siya. Compact form yung tawag dyan, missing meaning pinaikli. Okay, so para hindi ka malito, try latin siyang i-evaluate or ipakita ng buo. Okay, so ang ibig sabihin kasi ng i squared, so meaning i squared, kada term is naka square. Okay, so meaning for i equal to 1, this is 1 square plus 2 square tama, then plus 3 square, then syempre tuloy-tuloy plus dot 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 plus this is n square kasi up to n sya. Then equivalent daw to sa n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. Okay, so at least nakikita nyo na yung term. 
para mas madali. So, let us try to prove this one. So, prove or proof. So, ito yung kanyang proof. So, again, step 1. For step 1, let n is equal to 1. So, for n is equal to 1, this is equivalent lang sa 1 squared is equal to 1 times 1 plus 1. Tama? Kasi n plus 1 yun. Then, 2n plus 1. So, this is 2 times 1 plus 1. All over 6. So, check natin. So, this is 1 squared is 1. Tama? Equal to kay 1 times 1 plus 1 is 2. So, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 1 plus 1 is 3. So, 2 times 3 is 6. All over 6, that is 1. So, therefore, this is equivalent sa 1. Okay, for step 2. Eh, sorry, for n is equal to 2. This is 1 squared plus 2 squared. This is equivalent sa 2 times 2 plus 1. Then, 2 times 2 plus 1. All over 6. Okay, so that is 1 squared plus 2 squared. So, 4 plus 1, that is 5. I think. So, this is 5 is equal to 2 times 2 plus 1, 6. Tama. So, 6 divided by 6, 1 na lang. Then, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1, 5. So, this is 5 pa rin. Okay, so kahit simplify mo. Then, for n is equal to 3. So, we have 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared is equal to 3 times 3 plus 1 all over 2 times 3 plus 1 all over 6. So we have 1 squared plus 2 squared is 5 plus 3 squared which is 9 that is 14. Tama? So this is 14. Then sa left side naman or sa right side I mean 3 times 3 plus 1 is 12. No? So 12 divided by 2 kasi 12 divided by, uh, 12 divided by 6 is 2. Okay, so 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So 7 times 2 is 14. Okay, so therefore this is 14. So, true siya for verification. So next is step 2, our induction hypothesis. So let natin na si n is equal to k. Okay, so for n is equal to k, this is only 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared, plus dot dot dot, plus k squared is equal to k times k plus 1, then 2k plus 1, all over 6. Okay, so next is the induction hypothesis, the proof of induction. So again, induction hypothesis yan. So next is the proof of induction. Step 3, so let natin na si n is equal to k plus 1. Okay, so, paano yan? Uh, mayayari, sir, ganun ulit. So, kung may k squared ka, may k plus 1 squared ka. Okay, so, this is equivalent lang sa 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus dot 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 plus may k squared. Siyempre, meron din k plus 1 squared. Okay, then, equivalently equal to sa, yung n natin magiging k plus 1 k plus 1, tapos may n plus 1 tayo, ito yung k plus 1 plus 1. Okay, then meron pang 2 times k plus 1 plus 1. All over 6. Okay, so simplify natin further yan. Ano ba equivalent yan? That is equivalent lang sa k plus 1, tapos k plus 2, tapos 2k plus 3. All over 6. So, ang goal natin dapat, itong left side maging ganun. Or right side maging ganun. Okay, so, ano ba yung madali? Uh, I think ang madali is, magawa natin yung, syempre ito, yung left side. Mas madali siya eh. Mas madali siya dalin doon kasi nagawa na natin. Okay, so, consider natin yung left side. Okay, so, left side, consider... So, let us consider C 1 squared plus 2 squared. Okay. Plus 3 squared plus dot 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 plus K squared plus K plus 1 
squared. So again, next is siyempre uh, ano natin to. I-group. This is 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus dot 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 plus k squared. Then plus k plus 1. Raise sa 2. Okay, then by induction hypothesis, ito yun. So, hindi ko lang na box. So, yung 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 2k okay squared. That is k, k times k plus 1 plus 2k plus 1 all over 6. So, this is equivalent lang sa k times k plus 1 then 2k plus 1 all over 6 plus k plus 1 squared. Okay, then next is siyempre Simplify natin as one whole fraction siya. So, that is equivalent sa k times k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 plus 6 times k plus 1 squared. All over 6. Next is may common factor sila. Anong common factor? k plus 1 tas k plus 1. Tag-isa lang. So, ipapactor out ko yung k plus 1 na yan. So, this is k plus 1. Okay, then may natira sa loob na k, tapos 2k plus 1 para dito. Then sa kabila may natira, dun sa sunod, this is plus 6, tapos k plus 1, kasi may isa pa. Okay, then all over 6. Okay, next, simplify natin yung nasa loob na yan. So, kung napansin nyo, no, sir, mahabol na may k plus 1 over 6 ka na. So, ang goal na natin, dapat ito maging k plus 2, saka 2k plus 3. Okay, so, I think simplify natin, tapos dun tayo mag-factor. Kasi wala na tayong way na mga gagawa yan. So, this is k plus 1 times 2k squared plus k plus 6k plus 6. All over 6. And simply, this is equal sa k plus 1 times 2k squared plus 7k plus 6 all over 6. So, try natin i-factor to. So, sabi niya, ang factor daw niya is k plus 2 saka 2k plus 3. So, ang gawin na natin, i-multiply natin yung k plus 2 saka 2k plus 3. Dapat ito yung lalabas. 2k squared plus 7k plus 7 plus 6. So, try natin na. So, k plus 2 tapos 2k plus 3. Multiply lang natin. So, this is 2k squared plus 4k plus 3k plus 6. So, this is 2k squared plus 7k plus 6. So, napansin mo, ayun siya. Nakuha ko siya. So, therefore, ito ay yung k plus 2 saka 2k plus 3. So, therefore, this is equivalent sa k plus 1, k plus 2, then 2k plus 3, all over 6, which is yung ating right side. So, therefore, for all values of k, okay, for k is equal to, for n is equal to 1, 2, 3, for k and for k plus 1, this is done. Yung ating summation na binigay doon. Okay, so this is done. So, true siya for all values of k. Okay, so that is mathematical induction. So, hoping na naintindihan mo siya. Or, kahit pa paano, nakita mo yung way. Saka madali lang siya, in general. Kasi, paulit-ulit lang. May steps kang sinusundan. Okay, so that's all and thank you for watching.